Hey, I'm back, guys, to another video. This is how you earn your ticket to the playoffs. Coming into the Why? night, Dallas needed just a win to secure their spot in this year's playoffs, and they would do it. So, I watched this um, earlier, but I thought the background music, like, how the hockey game was in the background would be copyrightable because of the NHL copywriting everything, so I just didn't do that recording. Yeah, so you're not allowed to record it, huh? <clears throat> so I'm recording it now when it's the game's not on, nothing's on. Except my pappy's phone. But with fashion, they got things going with a perfect offensive cycle. Rupa hits, enters the zone, drops for Robertson, who gives it back to Rupa, who goes behind the net, passes to Pavelski as he rounds the circle. Pavelski puts it back behind the net to Robertson, who's now cycled down low. The boys are really grooving. Robertson back to Hintz, who's now in the slot, finishes it off for the beautiful play. one nothing Dallas. Then, a missed shot from the point gets cycled back. At least the video I'd start out, if you could think of any, like, star player who brought the team on its back, who would it be? I wish that's how the video would start. But... If I was asked that question, I would probably think of maybe Mario Lemieux. We might bring in a little Alex Ovechkin. <clears throat> maybe, um, I forget what the name of the player from Calgary is. Something with the T. Maybe him. Definitely not Huberdell. <laughs> Huberdell's having his... Huberdell's having his renaissance, period. Who? His end season. Huberdell. 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 Oh, he used to be a Florida Panther, then in the beginning of the season, he was traded to the Calgary Flames. I think Florida got a good trade out of it, but I don't think Calgary did. I think Florida's an okay team, but Calgary... Hmm, okay. Well, Florida's going to make the playoffs and the Penguins aren't. Was Calgary in the, in the playoffs or not? Hmm, let's check the what if the Stanley Cup playoffs start today. What if the Stanley Cup playoffs start today says... Hmm, yeah, Florida would be very big. Carolina, and there's no Calgary. Yeah, no Calgary. Back around, and Miller wouldn't miss on his second chance. 2 nothing. Dallas grabs a power play, and guess what? More Maybe great puck from Robertson, yeah. Robertson to Haskinen to Robertson, and back to Haskinen, who finds Pavelski mm -hmm. for a tip-in after out-muscling my boy Ryan McDonough. 3 yeah, nothing. Then three another things. power play in the third. Robertson gets in the high slot and rips a wicked rester to make it 4 nothing, giving himself an incredible... I hope the next week video is only like two or three minutes. 100 points on the season. One of the most exciting players in the NHL. Absolute stud. Jason Robinson is also the first Dallas Stars player to ever hit 100 points in a season and the sixth player this year. However, although Jason Robinson is the first Dallas Stars player to hit that milestone, the most points in the history of the franchise went to old Bobby Smith from North Sydney, Nova Scotia, who got 114 when the Dallas Stars were the Minnesota North Stars. In the total history of the franchise, four players have hit the 100 point mark, including, as mentioned, Robertson. But Donald did. You would think the Minnesota Stars would become the Minnesota Wild, but that's not a history. Why did they, they change became why the, they the names? Stars. I don't know. I don't either. 
Um, I think the Dallas Stars are okay. They're not my favorite team, but they're not like my enemy team. Now the Rangers used to. After the trade deadline, I was like, mm, I'll give you a chance. Because I got Patrick Kane if you're not locked on your hockey. Did come close as he scored 93 points twice. Once as part of the Minnesota North Stars and once as Dallas. Anyway, back to the game. Tyler Second would add another one in close to make it 5 nothing. The Preds got one back late, but it didn't really matter. Stars win, clinching their spot to the playoffs. The top of the Central is very tight. Dallas, Minnesota, and Colorado are all within a win of each other, so playoff matchups are yet to be determined. Personally, I'd love to see a clash of the early 2000s Colorado-Dallas rivalry, but now they've clinched, who do you want the Stars to face? Let us know down below. When advertising on YouTube, I know that making it well, according to the NHL, they're going to be versing the Minnesota Wild. Resources and partners to help business. For the first time in his NHL career, Nathan McKinnon is a 100 point scorer. 2018-2019, he got 99, the prior year 97. This year, he got her done in 65 games. So, last night in San Jose, after an Eric Carlson turnover, a really brutal one, Taves hits the billiards pass off the board to Mack, who streaks in and fires it home from the high slot for that 100th point. What a shot and what an absolute unit McKinnon is. We love to see him here on the East Coast, where he's the fifth Nova Scotia to record a 100-point season and, as mentioned, in just 65 games. That goal also gave him a franchise record for most overtime goals in a season with 10, surpassing Milan Hejuk. Guy is nuts. Way to go, Mac. That's 10 games they won just for having him. And, of course, he's humble as can be after the accomplishment. He goes over to thank Rantanen and call him the best player on the team. The night got even better for the Colorado faithful as well as that goal clinches their playoff berth. So, so somewhere around 12 McKinnon is the o'clock, seventh player this year. The, the power first round. Pass since some guy named Joe Sackick in 0607. Next closest is New York. The only reason I know that is because the Charger went down. Carlson at 96 down. and Marner at 95. All to join the club by season's end. Meanwhile, McJesus is just... That's when I think the storm started. He's the clear MVP favorite. But you got to think in terms of number two, McJesus is not far from the top. Which one of the points is pressed you more this season? Let us know down below. By the way, guys, McKinnon is selling his house right now. It's like half an hour from where I live. If you guys want to really help bring these hockey videos to the next level, a $5 million donation, that's all I need. Just consider it. Wait, you're offered to buy Nathan McKinnon's mansion? You're joking, right? <laughs> 